Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I just want us to discuss how you get an opportunity. How do you analyze any chart for you to lead to an opportunity? So how do you find opportunities in the market? If you watch this video any time of the month, any time of the year, even if this video you are watching it after five years, the concept will be still be the same because I have used so many things that uh, they don't really change in the market. It's like the way resistance will remain to be resistance and support will remain to be support. There's no way you, we can be told, oh, support has changed, oh, resistance has changed. So how do you get opportunity? So this is a video to help you. If we go to the weekly time frame on this market, um, we have a ranging market like the market is ranging. We don't really understand what is happening here. So all those who are weekly traders, to trade New Zealand USD, it will be hard for you. Why? Because the market has been ranging. If you go to the daily time frame, if we go to the daily time frame, what happens in the daily time frame? We are seeing buyers in this ranging, buyers are uh, stronger than any other thing. Because yes, the market uh, broke out. You can see the breaking out and the market has really pushed up. Okay, the retracement was a bit harsh and we can, we can try to see what really made the market to go down quickly like this. But according to daily, the market is bullish. Even when I try to show you, the market is bullish. You can see we started from this, this zone. We came from this area and the market has been creating high highs and high lows. High, high, high low. High, high, high low. So in short, what I'm trying to say is that New Zealand USD is a bullish market and all this we can take it is as a retracement. So I want you to comment down below. Do you think this is a retracement or it's a reversal? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Do you think this is a retracement or reversal? So we can see in the daily time frame what happened. The market created a small double bottom. We had a small double bottom there. And the double bottom broke the neckline because this is our neckline. If we, if you're analyzing using daily time frame, what we, we should notice is that the market still have some distance to cover. So NZD USD, uh, according to daily, it's supposed to go to 62.80 and it is at 61.60. So it is having quite some pips to reach to destination around 171 pips. That is according to daily time frame. When we come now to four hour, because in this video, I just want to show you how do you make um, an entry of the market according to four hour. The market was interesting. Why? Because we had a double bottom that is OPT. For me, I have seen this double bottom and I don't know why they are really struggling to use this double bottom uh, to take the market to the, to the neckline. So let me zoom it for you guys. So this is our first attempt. So if you have not seen this double bottom on New Zealand USD, now I have shown you. There is a double bottom on four hour. We have a double bottom. I will highlight, this is our first attempt. And then we have the double bottom that was activated. Can you see we have an activation? There's an activation here. There's an activation here. So I have a double bottom on four hour that is very clear. And if I check this double bottom on four hour, I want to show you something. When I come and I check uh, this double bottom on four hour, where is our neckline? Our neckline should be at this area. Can you see at the highest peak there? That's our neckline. If I want now to spot my half, because I'm wondering if this is a double bottom, has it broken half? So that is my half, guys and the market broke our half. And this is where our half was broken on four hour. So half has been broken, indicating buyers are in control. So if I go to the daily, 
if I tend to go to the daily, you will find that that double bottom is OPT because it's not anywhere on the daily time frame. You can see it is not on the daily time frame. So it is OPT, it's not on the daily time frame. Anytime you have double bottoms that are OPT, they tend to go far. So this double bottom is OPT and it has already given us half breaking. So when the market uh, broke half, um, they created a new pattern here. And the, 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 the reason why this market dropped even after half is, is created is because the, the new pattern that was created, we were waiting for it to get an entry of a buy but they never broke our half. You can see, they never broke our half. So that would be the first main reason why they never continued to buy when half was broken because there was another small double bottom created here. So that is the reason why the market didn't go buy continuously. So the same way they created the, the double bottom and never reached the half, the same way you can imagine the market is saying it's supposed to go all the way to the neckline. So where the market is right now, the market is supposed to go at 63.69. So the market should buy up to 63.69. That is almost 264 pips. But the question is, how do we enter? Yes, we know NZD is um, a buy. We know New Zealand is buy. But the question is, how do I enter this market? How do I enter this market? So um, we have known everything. Now let's come and analyze the same area where the market is because after that drop, the market is consolidating. And the question is, why is our market consolidating? So this should be our new neckline. Why is the market consolidating here? So if we dig deeper, we will find that a new double bottom has been activated. And this double bottom is what will be giving us an entry level. So that double bottom has been activated and that is our neckline. The market should at least come to this area. So we are targeting the market to come here because when you have a double bottom with no RBS, you have no more chances of it going more than that. So here we don't have RBS and that's why we are targeting up to that area. So again, if at all you want to make sure that everything is aligning very well, we need to measure this double bottom and check on the daily if it is there. So I just need to check on the daily. Is this double bottom on the daily time frame? So is this on the daily? No, it's not on the daily, making this double bottom very, very powerful. And remember, on the daily time frame, what they did, they first broke above. So buyers, yes, have so much strength. This one can be just a retracement. So when you come to four hours, now we have a very, very defined way to see if buyers will break. So if you're watching this video right now, the candle that we are waiting, the one to five candle, can be the one giving you an entry. So we have been waiting for this trade from here and the market has really, really ranged for so long. And we are hoping to get a break like this. So New Zealand USD, our entry guys, our entry is breaking that CRB. So if they break like that, you will buy up to where? You'll buy up to 31 pips. So if they break the half, you will buy up to the neckline. That is it, guys. That is it. So this is one of the trades that I want you to monitor up to the end. And what do you think will happen if they break this neckline? The market will still continue to buy. So the trade that you are doing on this week, yes, it has not given us an entry, but the trade that we want us to focus on is New Zealand USD. Why? Because it has a very clear setup uh, from daily, week, month, uh, from 
daily and four hour, we have very clear setup showing us how to understand buyers are coming in. So I want you to put this on your watch list. And if you're watching this video once the breaking has happened, comment down below and say the CRB has broken so that we can now target the next area. Let this be your first trade that you will analyze and find an entry. Many people tell me, oh, I'm analyzing trades, but to get an entry, it's a problem. Now I have shown you how to get an entry of any, any trade. So we are waiting for the market to do what? We are waiting for the market to break like that so that we can trade there. All the best, guys. Hope you have been helped by this video. All the best and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.